time up. Your time starts now. Yeah, I can see a 15 months old child uh, who is quite irritable, but he's alert, and he looks like good uh, as far as this uh, weight and height length is a concern. Looks like appropriate, but still I like to plot on the appropriate growth chart, and uh, I can't see there's any synomic features are there. The setting. I'm not sure with the setting is because the child have got the two this identity tags one on the left uh, uh, this thing upper limb and that one is the right uh, left lower limb. I'm not sure what is that and uh, uh, he's in a distress and what I can see like uh, he's having this coughing episode and there is a basically this suprasternal recession is also there and uh, then I can see that he's having this uh, sound. Uh, around with the sound, which I think it comes from the upper airway. Most likely, my diagnosis goes in a favor of this. Is my these are my findings, and uh, I can't see that any anything is attached around. Okay. So, uh, what additional history would you like to take? Uh, I would like to ask from a mother or a carer, like in terms of as you said yesterday, DOC or OCD. Like since how long this is happening on set, how the uh, this process is going on, and if there is any history of a cough and cold or a mild fever, if there is any history of difficulty in a feeding, if there is any history of uh, 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 there is any history of like uh, uh, bluish coloration of this this bluish coloration of that uh, uh, upper lip and up lip lips, these few things I would like to ask from the mother. Okay. Uh, anything else? I will like like to ask since how long this is going on, and uh, if there is a, any history of I can I can think of this thing something a child had taken inside or that I can also ask. Pardon? I can also think of asking something like if there is something actually okay. a child had taken inside. If it is acute history. What inside? Okay. At some right. point or some this thing. So what? I... Pardon? Okay. So what uh, additional examination would you like to do? I would like to do this complete uh, this examination, including this uh, my respiratory system examination, including the throat uh, throat examination. I will not do, and I would like to basically involve if required then further more this CNT people. But at this point of time, my investigation is only in favor of my this investigation of the chest, respiratory system examination. I like to plot his this vitals on the appropriate this thing, uh, vitals in from the uh, saturation and pulse and temperature and blood pressure. Okay. Anything else you would like to examine? Uh, would you I like would to like examine to... throat? Throat, I told, but I, I I'm not, I, I'm, I will keep this for the ENT people, but I don't want to put any of this, okay. this spatula or this thing in this child, because I have, I'm not okay. sure still about diagnosis. So then I put for that. I told that. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, so what, um, what, what is your diagnosis and what is your differential diagnosis? I will put my first differential. It could be uh, this acute laryngotracheal bronchitis. That's called croup. And uh, okay. second thing, I would like to basically look for this uh, the causes of the acute group, maybe a pericarditis, but it doesn't look like that. Maybe a bacterial tracheitis, maybe foreign body inspiration. These are my differentials if it fits an acute kind of variety. If it is a chronic, then I'll definitely go for the laryngomalacia or subcortestone. Okay, right. So, how you will manage this child? I will manage like first of all I'll assess the where the child fits in whether it's a mild group or a moderate group or a severe group. The differentiation between all these two is the strider at rest or is strider at uh, if the strider at rest is uh, there it basically goes in a favor of this uh, moderate to severe one. If the strider is present like infrequently that goes in a favor of the mild one. And my next next to this thing I like to go for the saturation also. Saturation is again the less than 92% or more than 92%. So this actually I would like to manage accordingly where the child fits in this category. So suppose this child is fitting in moderate to severe group, then how you will manage, uh, what specific management would you like to do? 
I will like to admit this child. Okay. I would like to admit. I will take his complete A B C, and uh, mm -hmm. I will make the child to calm, and then I like to give this uh, this oral dexamethasone. Uh, one How much? Dose, one one fifty microgram per kg. Easy. Okay. I would like to give this, and uh, then I have to. Uh, I have to admit at least of four hours in the moderate one, and uh, then I would be run to be assessed again. If everything goes well, then I like to basically uh, uh, start the child with one dose of this prednisolone after twelve hours, and with uh, education leaflets to be given. Like if can reoccur, if there is a problem of like if can reoccur, there is a problem in the distress. If there is any drooling, you like from then you come back. Okay, right. So, uh, when you will think of this, so uh, will you follow up the child with group? Usually, the child the follow up with the group is not required. Time over. Okay. Doctor, Doctor Nadesh, you did well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so okay. But uh, I would like to tell few points uh, where I think you should have. Uh, uh, if you speak that way, then it it looks much better. So initially, when you started, na, so uh, once you start your description of clinical signs, uh, the at very first moment mention the setting. But in this setting, I'm not sure. I told na because there was a so there so was you should this... have spoken. So you should have. Uh, so you should have spoken. Uh, today I saw clinical video of a 15 uh, months old girl mm -hmm. uh, sit sitting on a table, uh, and that table seems to be in hospital setting. And I can uh, I can uh, see uh, identification tags on left hand on left uh, yeah. foot, and I can also see a probe of monitor lying on uh, lying on table. a uh, child uh, child looks well a bit irritable and uh, and she looks appropriate as uh, for her age as far as height and weight is concerned length uh, yes okay uh, but okay length and uh, height and weight the moment child starts less than 2 is length, yes, length. Two is okay. length. we can say length length mm -hmm. and uh, weight is concerned and uh, uh, i can see the child is child is having a barking cough and uh, there is subcostal retraction suprasternal retractions so putting all these findings together i have a 15 year old girl with respiratory distress for my differential diagnosis with okay. with strider with strider so you have to mention that it is strider mm -hmm. for my, the moment you say strider uh, it will straight away convey to examiner that there is involvement of upper ear upper ear and, uh, and here in group there is involvement of uh, larynx and trachea okay yes so yes uh, this was and then what additional uh, history so you said uh, what, what all you said uh, that's good Uh, but i would like to add few points i would also like to know uh, whether child is holding breath or not because i would like to because uh, i would like to rule out bronchiolitis also okay and i would also like to know whether child is vaccinated or not i would also like to know family history of similar condition in any other family member or any other child reason 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 here Uh, because it is an infectious disease okay, okay. It, it's caused well, by parasite influenza so that also I, i would like to know and then what is done so far is child given any medicine or any treatment for it that also i need to know and whether mm -hmm. child is uh, accepting feeds orally or not whether child is peeing frequently or not because uh, that will alter my management now. i need to decide what all i need to do that i told so so uh, that we can end and in examination you told uh, correctly that after taking vitals and, and uh, after taking vitals and anthropometric measures and in vitals specifically looking for saturation and heart rate uh, mm -hmm. and the cut off saturation here for admission is uh, less than 92% that we discussed yesterday in bronchiolitis also it's 92% okay i i would like to uh, 
I, I would like to examine uh, how respiratory system, but I would avoid examining throat because uh, yeah. as it is involvement of uh, our upper airway, so it may precipitate obstruction. Obstruction, yeah. So I, I, I don't need to do anything. And the differential you told perfect. And after that, uh, I, I mentioned that it is moderate to severe croup. So in that case, I will be admitting that child and I and I will be straight away starting with oxygen by mask with a reservoir bag. If child is not tolerating, then I'll be giving oxygen by nasal prongs. Uh, I will keep monitoring saturation, heart rate. I will involve my seniors and if needed, my consultant. And uh, and I'll give, if child is able to take orally, I'll give uh, tablet dexamethasone yeah. in a dose of 150 microgram per kg. And uh, if respiratory distress is severe, then I may think of giving uh, adrenaline nebulized in a dose of 400 microgram per kg and maximum dose is 5 milligram okay that you need to and i can repeat a dose of dexamethasone after 12 hours or if i need to uh, if i'm thinking of discharging this baby uh, after being observed for four hours then uh, i may prescribe tablet prednisolone in a dose of one milligram per kg yeah so uh, that, that we will be giving and when you will be discharging that child, uh, I'll be discharging that child when child is tolerating feeds orally, child is yes. maintaining saturation more than 92%, when parents are confident to take care of child at home. Okay. And, uh, and, and after explaining to parents about red flags, uh, I'll be discharging that child and there is no follow up needed in a child with croup. Yeah. Okay. Thank That's you. Okay. Thank you. So we are done. We have discussed group also. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Okay. But you did uh, very good, and you will get full marks. Thank you.